G'day Transitters, today I'm in Gainesville, Florida, my USA home base. I'm riding the virtual event known as SVTVRTL. 144 miles thereabouts, 230 k's of local roads. It should be fun, hopefully I finish it. It could be a rough day. One other bloke I know of is doing it. And I'm not sitting behind him, so don't freak out. There he is, right there. That's Todd. All right, we'll see you later on. On to the very first sector. And there's Todd ahead of me. In fact, that is the closest I've ridden to anybody since March 11, 2020. And look at this lovely sunrise. Now, I know a few of you are going to be wondering what bike am I riding today. I figured it'd be a great day to ride the uh, Cannondale Top Saint Lefty. I've got some special wheels. I'm on some pavement. There's my mate Todd up the road. And I'm sweating profusely. It's extremely humid right now. I had to ditch the glass for a while. I can see a bloody thing out of them, all fogged up. Anyway, one way still to go. I figured out there's another rider ahead of us, just tilling by the tire tracks. I can even tell they're riding Panorama Gravel King tires. I forgot to mention that my ride today is dedicated to my good mate Mark Sakowitz, one of the co founders of SBT Gravel. We're riding today in Mark's memory. If you didn't catch the news, Mark passed away a couple of weeks ago. It's a tragic loss to the Gravel Cycling community. Mark, rest in peace, mate. Here's my mate Todd up the road, just cruising along. He's riding a very strong tempo. Hopefully, I don't blow up and uh, can maintain this tempo as well. The grind continues. To those folks who are watching this video and rode the Gainesville version of SBT GRVL, I hope you enjoyed. I designed all the courses. Every single one of them is a homage to the local riding scene, namely the long-standing North Florida Free Ride Gravel Series. Well, I believe there's eight rides in the series. One of them is in its 11th year. My personal event, the Heartbreaker, assuming it happens in 2021, will be running its 10th year. So we're not exactly new to this genre. The black course that I'm riding today is essentially a homage to Strata Bellamy, which was run by that man there, my good mate Todd, aka Beehead Todd, except I extended the route some. For those who are wondering what gear I'm running on my bike today, well, Apogee Top 2 Pack, which I've reviewed, and I've also got the Ride Far extensions just for another hand position today. Both those items have been reviewed on the Gravel Cyclist website and are linked below. How nice is this? Live Oaks over the road. Onto the section known as the landing strip. This is a fixture on our uh, long ride during the winter time. Riding these roads at night time is a blast with your mates. Well, pre-COVID anyway, no group riding until that clears up, if ever. The fine local establishment of Pinky's Place. If you visit this area and ride with me later on after COVID, if you visit Gainesville, you have a photograph taken here in front of Piggy's place and on the southwest side of town in front of the embezzler's sign because they are apparently the lowest form of life. Cruising along nicely, lovely tempo. Todd's right behind me. There's Todd right now alongside me. As you can see, he too has a healthy glow about him. Non-stop perspiration today. Welcome to Bellamy Road, the first federal highway in Florida. Apparently we're in for a treat in terms of weather today. The rumored high is only going to be, and I say only, 89 degrees Fahrenheit, which is uh, about 32 Celsius, 31 Celsius. 
But with the humidity, it feels way hotter. It's a good thing I'm used to riding in these hot temperatures of the summer of late. Still, my mate, Todd, he's riding very strong. Just up there ahead of me. Bloody heart rate. Mine's running quite high. So hopefully I can kind of keep him in sight. If not, I'll have to back off. I am going to stop at a couple of stores. He's not. He's meeting his lovely wife at least two times on course. So he's undoubtedly going to finish before me. We're almost to the meat, so to speak, of Bellamy Road, which there are three distinct bergs, as I call them. We also refer to this area as the Flappalations, the Florida Appalachians mountain chain. Okay, I must put the camera away. There's a couple of little descents coming up. This is the crest of Berg number one. These may look easy, but I'll overlay some video that shows you under duress. These little climbs are far from easy. I'm on my lowest gear right now. 40.36. Sorry, 40.34. Just cuts it. I'm on a one by, not a huge fan, but this is a review bike. Todd there's got a double, which I'm envious of. And the oldest bike in Gainesville for gravel cycling. 2007 that bike is. Wow, good catch. Drop the camera, good catch, eh? Whoa. Almost crested. The final peak of Bellamy Road. Crossing I-75. into High Springs where I'll be stopping at a convenience store for resupply. My mate Todd, he's probably not going to stop. He's got a hydration pack. And if you want to see more about High Springs, I should have a video link below where I show this town and more. Into the store, folks. Sweat my eyes. And I've got a really sore back today. I knocked it out a few days ago and it uh, hasn't recovered too well, unfortunately. A bit stiff. Okay, I'm not going to play around here too long. I want to keep going a decent amount of time. Some folks are riding there sitting for time. Me, not so much. I just want to finish safely and without trashing my back too much further. Quick respite here in the shade. See the glamorous life I lead? Well, I have less than 100 miles or 160 k's to ride. Pardon me while I shake the camera around here. I'm getting my hydration stuff ready. A few tabs inside the container of water there. The bit on. And a couple of kickstarts. Very nasty indeed. As you can see, I'm perspiring quite a bit, even here in the shade. This is going to be a tough ride the rest of the way, transitors. All right, almost out of High Springs. Still a long way to go. About um, 90, I think 93 miles left. I've settled pretty nicely into a rhythm now. Just riding alone. Doubtful I'll catch my mate Todd. As I said before, he's riding very strongly and uh, he's got his wife near him probably about now. So he's gonna probably take his bottles and keep rolling. About 77 miles or 128 k's left to ride. Definitely feeling my quads when I uh, flex them. They are quite small. <laughs> but uh, I'm just trying to pedal in the manner that I don't feel my legs. So I just turn the cranks over with some effort, but not enough to feel my legs and cause myself strife. I'm currently on a tough section of pavement heading due west into a block hair wind. If I kept riding this pavement, I'd end up in the town of Bell, Florida, B-E-L-L. -L. So you could say, I'm on the highway to Bell. Dun, dun. So if you need a school bus to pick watermelons and uh, any other crop that takes your fancy, 
I know just the place. Or if you want the ultimate convertible for you and your friends, a huge party. Here you go, road complaints, call that number. I don't have road complaints, but I do have weather complaints. I'm riding in the Gulag, heading due west, and a bunch of rollers. It's always a headwind along this section too. Oh well. This section of the course I like to think of as the country subdivision. When this road is ridden during the Strata Bellamy event, I mentioned earlier, part of the North Florida Free Ride Gravel Series, it is an absolute hammer fest through here. Oof. Speaking of hammer, I'm feeling pretty hammered, I have to tell you. And I was going to do two stops today. I like carrying a hydration pack, but uh, I might do three. There's a stop coming up pretty soon. Well, I wasn't going to stop here, but because I feel pretty crap, tired as hell, you know, I have a lot of excuses, not sleeping a whole lot, stuff like that. I'm gonna stop here because I can. And there's no race today, so whatever. Time for some more fluids. Nothing other sit down that chair for a minute or two. That sounds brilliant. Transitors, I'm definitely paying for trying to maintain Todd's tempo when he was uh, riding ahead of me earlier. He was riding very strongly, I have to say. This is how you make a seriously nasty concoction. Pour the coke in with your energy mix and hope your stomach doesn't blow up about 30 minutes later. Look at that grossness. Nasty as hell. Oh, it's about to fizz over. It has fizzed over. Oh, jeez. Just finished the longest section of pavement on the route. Heading due west. Into a headwind naturally. Finally off that road. Oh boy, have another headwind now heading south. Brilliant. Less than 100 kilometers to ride, about 63 miles. It's gonna be a uh, cruise pace. No one's actually cooking up here. Farmland. Some lovely shade, a respite from the beat down of the sun. And the pace has truly entered getting home mode. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling pretty average. Legs are, yeah, very tired. Time for a quick break. Listen to the cicada bugs in the background. Noisy little buggers, aren't they? Mind you, this is not the only area of the world where cicadas are heard. In my Aussie homeland, the central coast, these things are noisy, even noisier than here. Anyway, I'm going to apply some chamois cream. I only use Buckler Skincare out of Tallahassee, Florida. G'day, John. I will spare everyone the application process. Okay, we need to remove this baby from the road. Oh my god, look how diminutive this little critter is. A bit safer over here. Hello. One of my favorite parts of the course, plenty of tree cover, narrow road, what's not to love. So yeah, trendsetters, I don't think I've perspired this much in my life during today's ride. I mean, I'm tired as hell today. I don't like to make excuses, but I'll give you one. I had a long drive yesterday. And that's never good before a ride like this. However, check this view out. Folks, here's a tip I use when I'm feeling like crap, assuming you have a navigation device and you can see for example how many miles or kilometers until the next turn I just focus on that, like that little block so for example I've got 1.3 k's to the next turn I get that, accomplish it, then I think about the next block not the overall big picture one lane bridge with a very dry riverbed, creek bed, whatever and no doubt, 10 bajillion mosquitoes hanging around, so I better not uh, sit here too long. In the distance you can see, looks like a cell phone tower. That's the small town of Trenton, my next stop. It's about, I guess, three and a half kilometers away, just over two miles. I'm gonna stop there. I am feeling pretty knackered. Need some serious hydration. Oh, oh boy. It's really helping me mentally, I can see 
Todd's tyre tracks in the road. On the right side of the road is a massive solar farm that are quite prevalent in the southeast these days. You might notice, we can see it, the panels are all tracking the sun, which is right above me. Isn't that clever? We're almost into Trenton, giddy up. Everybody, welcome to Trenton, Florida. It's hot as bloody hell right now, and I'm definitely gonna take a break. I need one mentally just to get off the bike for a while, take in a couple of cold drinks, relax, etc. Then I think I've got about um, oh, 58 k's of the ride, so about 36 miles, something like that. Well, folks, I'm in a convenience store. This is the amazing life I lead. I am bloody hammered. So, uh, we've got some hydration here. Probably grab some calories and whatnot. That's probably not going to be enough. And uh, get rolling. But I need to just chill out for a while. As I said before, just get off the bike, relax. Take my mind off uh, pedaling for a while, etc. Just get out of this heat. Well, I feel like crap. Time to watch some Formula 1 highlights. Time to leave Trenton. There's the old railway station. There's the water tower. Unfortunately, no time for a tour today. From memory, I believe this is the longest unpaved sector of the entire route. And I've got a tailwind for once. Amazing! Had to stop for a moment and apply the rest of my chamois cream to my personal parts. That's not the sort of procedure you should conduct within the city limits of any town. For obvious reasons. I just recalled I've never ridden this length of time or mileage at this time of the year in Florida, which explains why I'm uh, hurting. You get reality on this YouTube channel, I am totally cracked. I haven't been this destroyed in a long time. I've got about 21k still to ride. It's just taking all my energy to keep going. I'm stopping once in a while, eating uh, some chow, whatever I can stomach, etc. Just rolling along. 10 miles to ride, or 16 kilometers. Sorry about my lack of conversational skills. Huh? Big positive for the remaining kilometers, mostly a tailwind. Sometimes you get lucky in life. Eight kilometers remaining, or five miles. Ahead, on the left, the final dirt road of today's SBT VRTL Gainesville Edition Black Course. As they say in professional cycling, one kilometer to go. Well folks, the sun's behind me. I'm riding on a sidewalk of a busy road, known as Newbury Road. But I think it's time to wrap up this video. I really hope you enjoyed tagging along with me during SBT VRTL, the Gainesville Black Edition. I am totally done. I, uh, I really wanted to hang it up about 20 miles ago, but I'm glad I persevered. Anyway, I hope for those who are watching, if you rode SBT VRTL, you had a blast doing your own version, whether it be green, blue, black, or red, I think it was. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you sometime in the next video.